I just finished part one of the video and I just want to do it again because it's part two because uh, people don't watch them if you make them too long so the last one was six minutes and now we're doing another one the idea is to clean up all the plastic off this little beach here and again I've got some more and this is how much we've got so far as you can see we've got quite a lot in there all plastic rubbish Other things for kids to play with for five seconds and it just gets thrown away. Okay, that's where we are at the moment, just cleaning up this beach around here. That's the beach we've walked along. Now we're going to cross over on the island here. That's where Tosh Formation are we're now, just there. We're cross and have a look on the beach along this side. Like I say, they clean the beaches up in the summer when there's tourists come here and money. Come the winter, nobody's really interested. And that's typical of today's society. If there's money involved, we'll do something. When there's no money, but we just have to look after the planet, nah, forget it. That's the attitude for you. Of course, you're on this little island and just walk on the side of the beach. We just walked on there and cleaned that up so far. Huge piece of plastic coming up here from somewhere. Now the idea of these, these videos is to make people aware that even on the cleanest of beach, you'll find there's rubbish. It's got to be picked up. So come on, get out there. And I think we've just got to stop manufacturing plastic. We should be so grateful for the ocean. It does everything on this planet. Our climate, everything else has to do with the ocean. It feeds us everything else, you know. There we go, another one. There's another one there. Another one over there. What is that from? Not matter if it's plastic, whatever it's from. So this has come from shopping somewhere. People come down here and watch the nature and everything else. But you got all this lot here, look. What the hell is this bit of plastic? Plastic bowl. Very good, here's the inland waterway. Don't destroy it. A lot of the time people just say to me, what can I do when you're one person? And that really infuriates me because that's just been a lazy excuse. Well, I've just took my dog for a walk and I've just managed to pick up all this plastic off a beach. That's what one man can do, so why can't you? Again, the fishing industry's got to take some responsibility for the, our ocean being full of plastic. Okay, you all want to enjoy the ocean. There's people out there surfing in it. Like I say, people use it to make their livelihood, fishing from it, people swim in it, people come hundreds of miles just to be by it, and people sail on it like I did around the world. And you know, it's just fantastic to be on this planet with this ocean. But if you don't look after it, you know, children are not going to have anything. I mean, this is what you can do by just going on the beach and picking up the rubbish. And it's just all kinds of even little bits of plastic you've got to pick up. The fishing industry have got to take a big, now responsibility to the things that they just leave floating on our oceans. The north coast of Portugal, and like I say, it's the 10th of November, and this weather is absolutely insane. You know, it's going to be 20 degrees today. It should be raining, cold, and wet and miserable. Most people think, well, we don't want that, but trust me, you need it to survive, because everything's getting drying up here in Portugal. All those forest fires you just had, well, think about it. <laughs> 